in my previous video, I showed you how to create a remote user VPN setup. And I'm back this week with another video and showing you how to set up the site-to-site -site VPN. I did mention that before I would do this, so here I am back with this video. If you did miss last week's, you can go back and have a quick look and see how we get that set up. And I'll leave a link down in the description below. But for now, I'm going to show you how to set up a site-to-site -site VPN between your checkpoint firewall. And I actually have a Ubiquiti UDM Pro on the other side to show you two different methods. So the main one I'm going to look at first is the site to site on the checkpoint side. So you can see you have the VPN tab clicked and the blade control for the site to site VPN settings. So on here you have an on and off control. You can allow traffic from remote sites by default and then log all the traffic as well. To get it set up is quite simple and easy. You go to VPN sites and then you add a new VPN site. Now you're going to need some information from both sides. Uh, so what I'm going to quickly do first is type in the IP address of the remote sites, followed by the pre-shared key. Now this is something you would specify on both sides. Once you've done that, you can scroll down and we can then create the remote site encryption. Once you've done that, we can then configure the stuff on the remote site in terms of the subnets. So I know on the other side, I have multiple subnets that I can access. To start with, I'm just going to type in uh, 10.70.0.0. And the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. And I will call this production subnet. Click apply. And there we go. That's been now specified in there. So I know on the other side, that is my IP address range that I want to be able to access. Encryption type is, again, fairly straightforward. You want to make sure both sides match. So the aim is to make sure both sides are mirroring so they're talking on the same encryption, authentication and the DH group as well. So I know for a fact that the other side is using 128, uh, SHA-1, and it's using group 14. Also, we want the encryption phase, again, 128, again, it's SHA-1, and I'm gonna enable perfect forward secrecy. This is also using group 14 as well. Then we move to advanced, you have a few additional options just here. You have a uh, remote gateway as a checkpoint security gateway, so it's actually not, it's actually a UDM Pro. Uh, enable per permanent VPN tunnels, we don't want that ticked. We don't, we've don't. we got disabled NAT for this site. Uh, if you want to enable it, you can just untick that. And then allow traffic to the internet from this remote site to go through this gateway. If you want to allow the connections to go through the internet of this side, yes, you can tick this box as well. Further down, you've got some more encryption methods if you want to specify anything more in here and certificate matching. So you don't have to use this option, you can also use certificates as well. Just before I go ahead and click apply, I'm just gonna show you the other side. So this is what I did on the Ubiquiti side. So we have a site-to-site -site VPN, we have, our, we have the protocol, which is manual IPsec, we have the pre-shared key, which is matched on the other side, we have what WAN connection we're gonna be using, and then on this side, we can see what remote subnets. So this is obviously on the side I'm on at the moment, I know my subnet is 172.165.0 slash 24, so I want to be able to access that from the other side to this side. If you only want it to work one way, you don't need to specify a remote gateway subnet. The remote IP address range, so again, where I am at the moment. And then we go down to advanced. Now, this is where I showed you earlier the IPsec profile. So we have the key exchange, which is IKEV1, AES128, SHA1, IKE DH group 14 and ESP DH group 14. We've enabled perfect forward secrecy and dynamic routing is also enabled. So going back here, we're going to click apply. That's going to go off and test the VPN tunnel. Now that that's set up, I'm just going to quickly go and do a ping check. So 10.70.0.1, I know I can ping the gateway and I'm getting response. So what this is now doing is traveling from my network across the VPN and then hitting the network on that side and hitting the gateway. Um, that I can see a response from. So we know that's working. Just a couple of other things I want to show you quickly. You have a community tab. Uh, this is only can be viewed when the cloud services are turned on. I don't have them turned on at the moment, so unfortunately I can't show that to you. We have VPN tunnels. Now this shows you um, where it's from, the site name and the peer address, and we can see that the status is active at the moment, so we know that VPN is up and running. And finally, you have advanced. So you can do some link selections, source IP address selections, and some additional encryption methods. Another thing I want to show you quickly, this is the final bit of the video, is on the remote side, I have a long list of subnets that I can choose from that I want to be able to access. So 
I'm going to pick one at random. I'm going to pick 10.60, for example, um, that I want to be able to access. So I would go back here to the VPN tunnel, click edit, go down to the bottom, click on new, type in the network address, so 10.60.0.0 slash 24 again, 255, 255, 255, And just for this, we're gonna call it pre-p subnet. Uh, click apply, and there we go, that's now added in there. We click apply. And then that's now gone ahead and updated the table. So now what I'm going to do is bring back terminal. And if I go ping 10.60.0.1, you can see that's now responding. So just like that, I've gone ahead and added an additional subnet that I want to be able to talk to. It can get a bit more complex in terms of when you start looking at this in more further detail. But let me know if there's anything else you want to see on checkpoint firewalls, and I'll see if I can put something together. I hope this video was useful. This is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.